Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Daily Fix, PlayStation Plus subscribers get a few more games to play for free this month. Liza P is definitely getting a sequel and how you can immortalize your favorite games of all time as Pringles icons. It's all presented by Pringles. Let's drop it. <laughs> Yesterday we took a look at some of the new games coming to the Xbox Game Pass service and not to be outdone, Sony has revealed the titles coming to PlayStation Plus Essentials. Now, beginning November 7th, players will have access to Aliens, Fire Team Elite, Dragon Ball, The Breakers and Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Aliens, Fire Team Elite is a co-op third person survival shooter where up to three players can squad up and kill Xenomorphs. Now we thought the game was pretty fun scoring it a 7 out of 10. Now moving on to Dragon Ball The Breakers, you're getting an asymmetrical multiplayer game which puts you in either the position of a regular civilian referred to as survivors in the Dragon Ball Z universe or one of many iconic DBZ villains known as Raiders. Now survivors are not super powered characters like Goku or Vegeta, but they can momentarily possess a Z fighter's abilities to fend off a Raider for a limited time. Now the objective is to search around the map for power-ups that will give them powers to help evade the Raider and escape via a super time machine. Now IGN gave it a 5 out of 10, but for anyone looking for an asymmetrical game with a DBZ twist on it, here's your chance to experience it. And finally, Plus Essential subscribers can enjoy Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, which is an updated version of the original Mafia 2 game that came out in 2010. Now the story remains the same. Now you're a World War II vet who joins a Mafia family in America and works your way up the organized crime ladder. But this time it's with fancy new graphics and the gameplay is tweaked a little bit for you to enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah. Anyways, we enjoyed the original, giving it a 7 out of 10. Oh, and you, you don't need to play the first Mafia to jump into this one. It's a standalone sequel. PS Plus Essential subscribers still have access to October's games up until November 6th, so grab those while you still can. Now in other news, the hit Soulsborne game Lies of P is officially getting a sequel. Now, the game is an absolute success with sales north of 1 million in about a month and that's including the fact that the game is available for free with Game Pass. Now publisher NeoWiz has announced a new game update, teasing some DLC and yes, confirming plans of a sequel. Now the upcoming patch will balance some weapons and make some quality of life changes to ease the difficulty in early parts of the game. Now, players will also get a new outfit and the ability to equip hats and glasses separately. Liza P's game director said in a video on YouTube that the studio, Round 8, is focused on the DLC and developing the sequel. Now, I won't spoil that DLC for you, but if you've beaten the game, you know it ends with a tease and a crossover with some other well-known fairy tale characters. And finally, we love games here at IGN, and we know you do as well. But our reviews and opinions won't always match what you might think. Now that's why we partnered up with Pringles to set the record straight and find out which games you think are masterpieces. Now whether you like their incredible graphics, innovative gameplay, or compelling story, we want to hear from you. Now log on to IGN.com or the Playlist app and rate all your favorite games to immortalize them as Pringles icons. Now whether they're new, old, under rated or overlooked, we want to know what you think. Now, speaking of which, here are some updates on the current Pringles Icons leaderboard. Persona 5 Royal and the original Final Fantasy VII made it into gold icon status this week, and honestly, I'm surprised they weren't there already. Now, fun fact, that means OG Final Fantasy VII is currently beating the remake, which sits in silver status. Now, we also finally got a mainline Pokemon game to join the rankings alongside Pokemon Legends Arceus, but it may not be the one you'd expect. It's actually Pokemon Violet. Now, the latest mainline entry in the franchise now sits in bronze icon status. And finally, Marvel Spider-Man 2 swings straight into gold icon status and is currently at 17 in the leaderboard. Now, in case you need more ideas of icon-worthy picks, here's IGN's very own Ben Watts with his suggestion. Check it out. We have a ton of incredible games on the list of Pringles icons, but it seems criminal that one game hasn't even been in the conversation yet. And that game, GoldenEye 007. <laughs> 
It's not really even one of my favorite games of all time, but it is an undeniable fact that GoldenEye was an era-defining title. The 90s was the pinnacle for popular IP game adaptations, especially from the Disney catalog, Aladdin and The Lion King. And then here comes Mr. Secret Agent himself to Golden Gun Slap Fight, four-player split-screen multiplayer, his way into the history books. It became the third best-selling Nintendo 64 game. Has there ever been a more successful non-Nintendo IP game on a Nintendo console? Well, without doing any more research into it, I'm gonna say probably not. GoldenEye needs to be on this list, so let's make it happen. Do you agree that 007 GoldenEye should make it into the pantheon of the greatest games of all time? Well, let us know in the comments and of course on IGN.com in the playlist app. You can check out what games have made it to the top at IGN.com slash icons. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, well get to voting people. It's up to you to decide how your favorite games stack up. And that was your daily fix for today, November 1st. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our preview for the new Avatar game, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Oh, and one last thing, looking for something certifiably awesome to play? Well, check out IGN Editor's Choice, the nine and above club on Humble Bundle. Now, all of the games in this bundle have scored a rating of nine or 10 from IGN. Plus, you'll be supporting the charities Extra Life and Girls Who Code. The bundle includes Disco Elysium, The Final Cut, Wilder Myth, Chivalry 2, Spiritfarer, The Forgotten City, Grime, and Paradise Killer. Now, the bundle is live now, and we'll add a link in the description of this video. Now, I'm Akeem Lawanson, and for all things gaming news, stay tuned to IGN.